Hi traders, welcome to my day trading recap. I want to talk about Amazon today, which was my best trade today. And um, I do expect it to become a gap and go because it gapped down. You can see that it's down 7% and it's expected to move under the lows and continue coming down. Therefore, I'm looking for a short. Now, take a look at the risk reward here, which is extremely important. Notice the highs, 3349.91, let's call it 3350. And uh, notice the lows, 330, which means we have a difference between of 20 points between the high and low. Meaning, if I'm going to short it under the lows, which I'm just about to do with 1,000 shares, my stop loss is going to be 20 points if it moves over the highs. So I'm about to click the button, clicking now, and I'm short. So I'm expecting it to move down, and I know, and I was prepared to lose 20 points in case I'm wrong, which means... 1,000 shares, 20 points, $20,000. Now, if I'm risking $20,000 or let's call it 20 points, then I must be looking for a minimum of one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. You can't trade with less than one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. My, my, I, I specialize on one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. However, many traders use one-to-two or one-to-three or one-to-four, even more than that. Now, as you can see, it's coming down. I already have 15 points, 16 points, and I'm holding my breath, hoping to get to the 20 points mark. Right now, I reached it, about to take my partial. Actually, 21 right now, 22 points. Pulled back a little bit to 20. I was afraid it's going to move higher. Therefore, I clicked the button. I've got my 20 points partial. Now, again... If I was risking 20 points, I must be looking for 20 points. Is it easy? Well, first you need to choose the right trade. You need to choose the right stock. You need to choose the right technical formation. But what I'm referring to as easy or hard is the fact that once it starts moving lower, then mentally you want to get out of the trade real quick. Does it happen to you that uh, your stop losses are bigger than your targets? Of course it does. It happened to me a lot when I started out as a trader. So if I know that my stop loss is 20 points, I must be trying or um, making my best to get a 20 points partial. And once it starts to go down, mentally, I'm very much afraid to lose what I gained. Like if I was a $10,000 profit, in just a few minutes or a few seconds really, then I would be really, uh, at that point, I would be mentally, I would like to click that button and move out of the trade. And that happens a lot to novice traders. What novice traders usually do is their, their profits are much lower than their losses, which means you take a 20 point loss because that was your plan and because you hate having losers and you give it all the, uh, um, the chance to move uh, maybe back down again or something. But once you try and reach your target, you get to the point where you can't handle it mentally and then you move out with less profit. Extremely important to understand that point. Extremely point, uh, important that you respect your stop loss, but also respect your target. Now, another thing you notice there, I was looking for a little bit more than 20 points. 20 points is my initial target, but if, it, if I can get a little bit more than that, then I do. So I reach 21 points, 22 points, but at that point, I become I become very, at that, at that situation, I become, you know, I, I don't let it pull back more than just a bit. So it reached 22 points. It just started to pull back up one point, two points. I click that button and I'm back with my 20 points because I, I'm just not going to let it pull back more than that. So uh, at that point, my stop loss becomes very close to, um, to, to the point where the stock is trading. So again, Look for a minimum of one-to-one -one risk reward and try and get a little bit more because you need to try and uh, achieve a little bit more than one-to-one. -one. Did you like this video? Thank you for watching. Uh, if you did like it, please give us a thumb up. We would really appreciate it and um, wish you all the best. Thank you very much for watching. There's a button here that you can subscribe and you can also hit the notification bell if you like so you will be notified of my future uploads. And there's plenty of links right here below if you want to trade with me daily and uh, have free courses or whatever. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.